Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's get going with our Amazon e-commerce series. So this is our Amazon homepage. So uh, we would be uh, trying to mimic a clone of this uh, to a limited functionality. But yeah, this would uh, be helpful in understanding your Salesforce concepts. So in here we could see certain certain parts. So the first part in here, if you could see this one, is your uh, standard section that we could utilize for your uh, amazon home page site right so whenever we create a community we get a standard uh, home page with this navigation menu tiles so basically we can utilize this right now uh, if you see uh, beneath this this section uh, and if we click on this all section there is this navigation bar that pops up and what it has is it has its sub child elements so let, let's suppose i clicked on uh, echo and alexa so it displayed certain uh, items right so uh, if we could see that this is a uh, if we could see so these are direct links to uh, other pages right so this we could have some static thing like we can build it using html editor and for this one uh, we can utilize one lwc component but the question here for you guys is can we call a lwc component from a html site or from a html uh, content uh, in salesforce experience cloud or no so i would be waiting for the answers uh, so that we could proceed on this further right so let's get going on this what we have is i have a new playground for setup so let's get to all sites because uh, all sites haven't been uh, configured so it won't be showing up in here so we have to go to digital experience settings and in here uh, we have to enable our digital experiences and it says that your org's my domain name is the subdomain for the site you create for example if your site's domain is let's say this one so the site url would be the entire site slash customers developers or partners that we try to create right so we are registering this domain and and yes we are ready with our all sites so let's view this page in classic and let's create a site so by default we salesforce allows us to create only 100 sites uh, okay now we have to choose our template so basically we could use uh, entire lwr site only right but what we want here is we want to have a uh, customer site so the best would be customer service template so it provides us with different customization and some out of the box functionality so this was the navigation bar i was talking uh, to you guys about so we would be utilizing that and in here i would be writing amazon and uh, let it be right so till then it creates our site let's see what are the things that we have to have in our navigation bar so amazon home page this location kind of thing let's see how uh, can we build this or is it required or not so if you could see this is a multilingual site so if i uh, just click on any other language so it translates everything into uh, 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 another site right so how to create this can we create this in our salesforce communities or not right so this is the feature called multilingual site and we could also have this as a multilingual community right uh, we have some things for sign up and again some cart functionalities right now for the sign in part this is again a separate module but like in this video let's start with some basics and as we will go further in our series i will uh, go into more detail like how to build a particular component so let's see in our administration what we all could have so our site is not yet we need to activate this so after activating what has what uh, is there that new members they receive an email message so uh, send welcome email there is this setting i'll explain you in a bit 
so these are some settings for your uh, site users that um, are there and these are the members that who all can access your community for now uh, we want our customer users to be a part of uh, uh, our community so, so customer community user i'm adding this and for now let it be customer community and customer community plus okay i'll add this um, in the further coming videos because there would be one some limitations for the customer community user license so that would be helpful for you guys to understand why uh, is what is the need of the customer community plus license right for login and registration uh, we won't be using the salesforce standard login registration page so that we would be configuring uh, in another video so in here if you could see this is the welcome new member that email that it was talking about so by default we have this uh, uh, templates for your forgot password and change password so that is there okay so apart from this our site is already done let's see how it looks in the builder so let's do preview and it will load it will take some time to load so again yeah this site came up so if you could see it is like just a navigation menu a header part is already created for us right we don't need this home topics thing because early we would be creating a custom one for this so let's see how we could create this so yeah i just want the answer to my question that can we do this or can we not via html editor uh, so what i'm talking about here is uh, we have this html editor right i just drop it let's suppose in here and if i edit the markup i can use uh, any any sort of details let's uh, write up for you uh, welcome to amazon site and style is color red font weight my uh, font size 50 pixels right so in this way we could have our own html and css styles in embedded uh, styles in here so that is there right now what we we are having this carousel component so for this particular thing we could have a carousel component build up where we could have these images uh, yeah, in this fashion right uh, coming down this is the list of products but if you could see these products are also uh, segregated products right see appliances smartphones or headphones like revamp your home decor items and other things right so uh, if i go back and if we see on the product we have a object called a product object right so guys i hope this was all for this video because this was just a starter video and if you haven't accessed our playlist i request you all to go through the playlist also there is one more thing that you guys need to do is uh, we have some experience cloud uh, videos already there so i would request you to go through these videos and um, this was the use case of your html editor that i was talking with you about so in this uh, playlist series you would be getting a lot of idea how we would be implementing um, things around and in the next videos we would be also covering about your uh, theme layout part so that is already um, being uh, covered in our previous videos so i request you to go through the channel video so that you could get uh, entire idea of uh, how things work and what are the things that are there in salesforce as a part of community development that we would be doing so that was great for today's video we would be meeting in the next video till then have a good day thanks